How's it going, everyone? My name is Michael SK, and welcome back to Steins Gate, my darlings embrace. In the last episode, we began Suzuha's route. And it, also in the last episode, I just wanted to make it clear that I was just joking around, but also kind of crossing my fingers, hoping that this isn't going in a romantic route for Daru for very obvious reasons. I, you know, deep down strongly believe that this is in a way some sort of father-daughter realization story that's bound to happen and maybe a little bit of romance with Okabe and Suzuha. So Daru and Okabe can most definitely become brothers? Is that how that works? Well, anyways, let us read on and actually see how things will go. She's acting a little weird, so we actually need to know what her motive is. <laughs> Suzuha's expression suddenly changes. My suspicions have been confirmed. I knew it, she's a member of the organization. Aha, there we go. Her dad? What's she talking about? Wait, this could be a ploy to confuse me. Having lost to my impeccable intuition, Suzuha smiles awkwardly at me. The thing is, I kind of get where the uh, misconception here is already coming from. Mad? That's a rather light punishment for failing a mission. Wait, this is the organization we're talking about here. She probably knows full well what awful fate awaits her. さすがに大勢にバレると Oh, come on, we're not Daru. さすがにあんまり知られると私もまずいしね。そうか。ならば教えてやろう。その条件とはズバリ。これから先ラボメントして我がラボに尽くすことだ。Wait, she had Wait. At this point, she's not a lab member. I can barely remember the events or how, what the events are that took place. Or the order of events. I'm really just confusing myself here. I can't remember how things went down in what order in the original Steins Gate because it's been that long since I watched the show and played the game. Plus, my memory is shit in general, so. In other words, she'd be a double agent. I'll use anyone and anything to accomplish my goals. That's how the mad scientist Hyoin Kyoma does things. <laughs> At the end of the day, I'm asking her to betray her own people. 
I get that this isn't an easy thing to just agree to go on, or to go on the fly. Yeah, Okabe is really on the wrong level here. Dad? Wait, didn't she say something along those lines earlier, too? Does she have some sort of father complex? Well, maybe. Suzuha extends her right hand. Her friendly attitude makes me reflexively respond in kind. Uh-oh. A loud voice erupts from behind me. I turn around to see an angry Daru by the building entrance, dashing toward me with the speed of someone much smaller than he is. I can't believe how much energy he has. Wasn't he a zombie not too long ago? Yeah, he was. Daru grabs me by the sleeve and pulls me aside. He talks into my ear. Yeah, hold up. I gotta, I gotta respond to this mail. Of course, I said no. I could never audition for a popular group like that. Plus, I'm a boy. Okay, so we definitely know 100%. We now know that Lukaku is a boy in this route. And again, like I said in the last episode, or something along the lines in the last episode, that I'm not going to assume otherwise unless there's some sort of hint that he isn't a boy. So what's our reply here? I don't see anything wrong with at least trying. You might be able to overcome that shyness of yours if you had a, a gig, sorry, <laughs> that puts you in front of other people. I hate how they like continue the text on and that's always been like a complaint of that text messaging but that's just me it's hard to read <laughs> Daru sends me flying as he turns around thought he punched us and it's clear that he was trying to keep me away from Suzuha I watch them for a while. Daru faces Suzuha the whole time, wiggling his big frame back and forth in a strange, almost hypnotic way. He keeps replying to her questions over and over again with answers that betray his inexperience with women. This might be a more serious illness than I thought. Is that what you want to call it? <laughs> oh, hey, male. Okay. You might be right, but I don't think I can be an idol. And imagine what would happen if people found out that I'm a boy. I'll work on my shyness elsewhere. Well, at least, at least he's gonna work on it, you know? That's development in another field. Or in a, in a different method. And still development. The next day, I discovered that Daru's illness had grown even worse. <laughs> Daru getting work? What the fuck? As soon as he got to the lab, he broke the news to me. Daru's always worked a, a shady job, but now he's apparently adding a short-term one on top of that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think we actually saw a bit of, like... He, where he worked, or at least where he was, like, stationed elsewhere for, like, all of his hacking or whatever, back in Steins Gate Zero. Man, that really brings back memories. With our previous financial issues solved for the time being, things had quieted down. If he was going to be busy up until Kamima, I'd be fine with that. However, Daru's response was beyond anything I could have ever imagined. Kamima? Huh? Daru-kun, 
I like how this is just a, a, a flat out surprise to everyone. <laughs> Including like me. The the viewer. The player. The main man here behind behind the wheel. How could I blame the two of them for being surprised? How could I blame myself? <laughs> Honestly. If there was one constant about Daru, it's that he's never missed Kamima. It didn't matter if he had a fever, broken bones, or if Tokyo itself was in flames. I can't speak for this world line, but I know for a fact he said as much before in the previous one. And then like all the others we've been in. But now he's saying the complete opposite. Of course people would be surprised. On top of that... Uh... Hold that thought, Daru. I don't like you saying that, brother. Because here I am, a grown man, at the age of 23, recording YouTube videos about anime and junk. So, uh... I don't know about that. I, I don't think I can agree with that. I think it's a little offensive. I mean, you're right, but... But, you know... You gotta balance it. He starts going on and on, despite nobody having asked. Everyone's too shocked to reply or even form words at this point. Though Daru hardly seems concerned with whether we're reacting or not. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Wow. As we stand there dumbfounded for the however manyth time today, he gives us a light salute with his index and middle fingers before vanishing behind the development room curtain. What's this indescribable feeling of humiliation boi boiling up inside of me? The atmosphere is tense and awkward, but Kirisu is the first one able to shake it off and speak. I don't blame her for asking that question. This change came out of nowhere. Even I'm shocked and I saw what happened. Uh, yeah? <laughs> You know what? I think I get what the misconception here is. Suzuha is getting latched onto Daru because in this world line she knows that he's the daddy. But however, she's not revealing that shit to him, for obvious reasons, and he's just taking it the wrong way. And therefore, he's being the, the way he is. It's true that Mayuri asked me yesterday if Suzuha likes Daru. Excuse me, but she, she shouldn't know anything about him being deceived by her. At least as of yesterday, she said her intuition was telling her that wasn't the case. I can totally picture him bragging about his accomplishment to Mayuri. I mean, that's different, though. だけど、
別に付き合ってるってわけじゃないのか橋田が一方的に好きってだけであれでも今日のダルくんの話だとすずさんの方がダルくんを好きだっていう感じだったけど Wait, weren't they shocked speechless just a moment ago? They've already started gossiping about this like it's no big deal. I, for one, can't accept this cruel reality.、Oh. And we have mail. Ferris, are you okay? Ferris hasn't seen you around here these past few days. I'm worried you might have caught a cold or something. <laughs> I think that was supposed to go to Daru. Daru a n o b i t o s e n s i t a m a s a r e t i r n o d a Hunt a n a n i does no yo. Moscas de sto? So t h e r e I. Whatever singes or eat the irnoda. I saw a m a n e s s honey damasaretir. Ya, Moscas, Kino Daki at Tokini. Mind of control the Mosaratan Kamusen. Oso de Besiva. Chican no Yarikataka. ちょっと何抱き合ったって橋田とあまねさんがだったらやっぱり橋田の言ってることは本当ってことじゃないだから違うのだあれは全て期間の差し金でおかえり取り残されて寂しいのはわかるけどこういう時は素直に喜んであげるのが友達だとマユシーは思います What's going on here? Why aren't they on my side? Perhaps my true enemy isn't the organization, but mainstream women instead? That was a weird way of just describing, like, just women in general. Before Kirisu can stop me, I step behind the curtains. Upon entering the room, I see Daru wearing headphones, excitedly grappling with a programming language of some kind. Is this the new job he mentioned? A part of me had hoped that this was all just an excuse to make time for more Edoge, but clearly that isn't the case. Oi, Daru! No response. He must be incredibly focused. I've been there. Seeing him work so furiously for the first time makes me a bit reluctant to get in his way, but regardless, I yank his headphones off with everything I can muster. Daru! Wah, Joe, Okari! いきなり何すんのさ話があるさっき言ったっしょ僕バイト掛け持ちで忙しいから後にしてくださいお願いしますそんなことを言ってフェイリスはどうしたのだ I grab my cell phone and pull up the email I received a minute ago thrusting it in front of Daru's face well I guess the the subject is Daru like are we supposed to like just forward this to him or some shit Daru stares at the screen of my cell phone. This should open his eyes, or at least it should have. This is hopeless. This illness of his has evolved into something potentially fatal. Yeah, Okabe himself isn't really the busiest person in the world. Daru doesn't so much as glance at me as he puts his headphones back on, returning his attention to the computer screen. Oh, so much for that. <laughs> These two don't understand anything. It's Suzuha's fault that this is even happening. At this rate, Daru's just going to look like a complete fool. If the right hand man of Hyobobin Kyoma, mad scientist and bringer of chaos, is nothing but a fool, it'd make me the laughing stock of the world. You know, more so than currently. I'm going to make Suzuha take responsibility for her actions. Hell yeah, stick it to the man. I go outside and approach the Bronte workshop. Actually, didn't Mr. Braun say he was taking his daughter somewhere? Did their trip get cancelled? Eh, whatever. That doesn't matter right now. I quietly approach the door from the side and peek inside, avoiding Mr. Braun's light of sight, 
and look to see if Suzuha's there. I mean, her bike is here. I hear a voice from behind me and literally jump in, or jump in surprise. Sorry. He's a scary man, I tell ya. I pull Suzuha somewhere quiet. Wait, really? Uh oh. I guess I didn't actually mention Daru. I just told her that I wasn't going to let her win. Crap. Yeah, wait a minute. <laughs> I have no choice. I tell Susuha everything that's happened since yesterday. Well, it is Daru. そもそもあいつは女に免疫がないのだ。あんなことをされれば、すぐに誤解してしまっても不思議はない。でも免疫がないって言ってもシーナマユリとかマキセクリスには普通に接してるじゃん。あいつは大田だが、コミュ力がない
She grabs me by the chest and sidles, slides, siddles. She just throws us against a wall. Yeah, let's go with that one. What's going on? Why is she so panicked? Despite her calm demeanor from earlier, Suzuha has started to lose her cool. And that's what I've been trying to say from the start. Well, I think it's bad for a different reason here. Oh, here we go. I follow Suzuha into the lab. There, I nearly crashed into someone on their way out. He complains to me the moment he sees me. It looks like Suzuha told him everything. I peek inside the lab and the look on her face is one of abject failure. I have no idea why Suzuha suddenly lost her cool, but dealing with Daru is my number one priority. At this point, I just have to be straight with him. なんだよ、Daru pushes me aside and walks to the door. Damn. I reach out to stop him, but only end up uh, futilely grasping at the air. Daru leaves the building. He keeps his back to me as he leaves, not turning around even once. This... This might actually be really bad. You think? When I look back into the room, Ayuri and Kirisu are both giving me less than jovial looks. What else can I say? No matter how you slice it, I look like the villain here. Shit. I'm not the one at fault here. Suzuha staggers toward me slowly. She's the reason of all this ha- oh, Excuse me. She's the reason all of this is happening and yet she looks like someone who just found out the world was going to end. <laughs> well... Disappear. All we can do is watch as Suzuha leaves the lab, her face completely pale. Oh boy, so I think... I think Daru was supposed to be meeting Mama over at Kamima in this world line. I know that happened in another world line um, over in Steins Gate, Linear Bounded Phenogram. There it is. The, the other Steins Gate I've been <laughs> lagging on. Um, I know that they kind of met there. But other than that, I don't know. This is actually going to be pretty interesting. I'm not going to lie. I kind of like the direction this is already going in. This will be fun. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe, all that fancy jazz. Hope to see you guys in the next one.
Take it easy.